after downloading the VNWA installer from the SDR Kits homepage, the installation procedure might vary slightly, dependent whether you are a newcomer or an already user of the VNA software. At first in this video, a fresh installation will be demonstrated. Locate the downloaded VNWA installer on your hard disk and double click the icon with the left mouse button. When the welcome page appears, click next. Now activate I accept the agreement followed by a click on next. Now you have the option to choose a different destination folder, but normally you just click next. Now you have the option to choose the name for the start menu folder where the program icon shortcut will be placed. But normally you just click next. As standard, the installer creates a desktop icon, but you might here choose not to do so and also choose whether the application is available for all users or for the current user only. If satisfied, click next. You are now invited to enter the license key. Remember, the license key must be terminated by a colon. When done so, click on Next. It is recommended at this point in time not to enter anything but the pure license key terminated by a colon. Custom information may be added at a later stage from within the VNWA software. You may choose not to install any license key if you want to study the VNWA software prior to a purchase of the VNWA. License key may be installed from within the VNWA software. Else proceed as instructed. Your selections is displayed and uh, you may now click on install. The installation is in progress. During the installation, the device driver installation wizard pops up. Click Next. When completed, click on Finish. A final confirmation is performed by a click on Finish. Installation of the VNWA software is now completed and a VNWA icon is created on the desktop as shown. At this point you are ready to start the VNWA software for the first time, but a separate video will be created to uh, demonstrate that. If the VNWA software already is installed on your computer, you may choose to preserve the present installation and perform a fresh installation. You may also choose to install on top of a present installation, and in the end of this video is explained some changes implemented from version 36.7.0 not installed. You may skip next 55 seconds if you are not preserving a present installation. Locate on the C drive the VNWA folder and with the mouse give it a right click and choose rename. Change the name for the folder to describe the present VNWA version, in this case VNWA 36.4.9. Locate on the desktop the VNWA icon and rename it accordingly. With the mouse perform a right click on top of the renamed VNWA icon and choose Properties. Where the two green arrows is pointing, change the folder name from VNWA to VNWA 36.4.9 or whatever name you gave the renamed present VNA folder. If you installed on top of a present installation, you preserve all the folders you have created yourself with calibration, kit files and other data of your choice. If you preserve the old installation and perform the fresh installation, you may copy-paste these data to the new VNWA installation. By installing on top of a present installation with VNWA software version 36.7.0 and onwards, the IF bandwidth is not changed from 1200 Hz to 12 kHz. This modification facilitates less noise and time per point down to 0.16 millisecond. 
you may modify the 12 kHz settings yourself by changing the sample slash IF period from 10 to 1 and pre samples and post samples from 3 to 2. A last installation method is from within the VNWA software. You may check via the help menu or you may automatically be asked when starting the VNWA application which informs you about a new version. When a previous VNWA version than the latest installer is started, following prompt appears. If you want to download, click OK. You are prompted which new version will be installed and what the present previous version is. Press OK to download. The download seen in progress. Download is finished and click OK to install. The VNWA software will be terminated. After being questioned, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC with a yes? Following prompt appears and by clicking next, the traditional installation procedure continues. Further information about the installation procedure can be found earlier in this video. The last action in the installation procedure is that the VNWA setup wizard asks you to restart the computer, so click on finish.